Welcome to this week's energy series. This is a special one. It's actually a three-part series on opening your third eye. So for today, part one, we're going to be talking about what is opening your third eye? What does that even mean? So how about for you, Peyton? How would you like to start us off? Yeah, I think this is a great topic because so many people are interested in connecting more with their intuition, their spirit guides, but they don't really know how to do it. And so when I hear people talking about wanting to open their third eye, two things kind of pop up for me. The first is that they're interested in developing their intuitive abilities overall. So whether that is their clear audience, their clairvoyance, clear knowing, all those clear senses that we talked about in our earlier videos are all part of opening up our intuitive abilities. So with, if that is something that you are interested in, one of the things that the three of us talk about all the time is how important it is to do this properly. So we always strongly encourage you to find a teacher to help you open your intuitive abilities. Someone who can teach you the tools to open up in a way that is quick, but also safe. Because one thing that a lot of people don't know about energy work is you want to be opening up in a way that is going to bring the best results to you. And so having tools that help you do it in a safe, protected environment is very important. Having tools that help you open your intuitive abilities in a way that is most appropriate for you, because all of our individual you know, abilities come through very uniquely. And so someone else's experience with opening their intuitive abilities might be very different from how it works for you. And because of this, there are certain tools that we teach in a certain order. And all three of us are a huge fan of proper tools and teachers and education, because what this helps you do is open up in the way that is safest for you, that will get you the best results, and that will work to your strengths. Because as we said, everyone's intuitive abilities open up in a slightly different way. So when we're talking about opening up our third eye, we're talking about actually working with all of our chakra system. So some people may have the impression that all you have to do is pop open that third eye and you will be in instant contact with the entire spirit realm. And that's not really quite how the opening up of your abilities works for most people. But again, it is unique to everyone. So there are probably somebody, someone who had that experience. But in general, it is a gradual process. And if you have certain tools that you put together in a particular order, you do this in a way that is safe, that is comfortable, that works with your unique combination of abilities, because you may find that you read energy one way, and everyone you know reads it completely differently. So our goal as teachers is always to help you open up in the way that brings out your unique gifts. And again, you may be someone who is more visual. You may be someone who, like me, tends to hear thought forms or tends to hear spirit, spirit clear audiently. So everyone is unique. And so that's one of the reasons why when you're interested in opening up your abilities, doing it in a safe, protected way with a teacher who is mentoring you and guiding you, we think is completely recommended. Um, it is not something that I personally would ever encourage someone to try to do off a YouTube video. Um, this is a process that we teach in a particular way for a reason, but it is something that anyone who is interested in opening up their abilities can absolutely do. So my first thought when I hear open up your third eye is people who just want to open their intuitive abilities overall. Now, one other thing does pop up to me because, of course, I come from the background of being a channel. So I have been trained by a number of channeling coaches and teachers. And so something else that people can mean when they talk about opening their third eye is decalcifying their pineal gland. So some people are talking about that when they say, I want to open my third eye. And that is something that we talk about a lot in channeling circles. And we can talk about these in our later videos when we talk about how to open your third eye. But there are certain supplements that can be helpful to 
decalcifying your pineal gland that can support you in your intuitive development. And we'll be talking about those in later videos. But that is something, especially if you have an interest in channeling or working very directly with your spirit guides, that can be another way to go about opening your third eye. So it's a process that anyone can do. I just always encourage you to do it in a way that is supervised, safe, in the highest vibration possible. That's always what we encourage in energy work. So that's what pops to my mind when I hear people expressing an interest in wanting to open their third eye. How about you, Corey? Oh, that's wonderful, Peyton. Um, and I agree with you. Now, opening up your third eye is opening up your intuitive abilities. And everyone has intuition. So getting in touch with it, opening your um, third eye to expand on your intuitive knowingness is actually what's very popular right now. Also, the, the third eye is, it's, it's a new language. So we open up our, our intuitive abilities, opening up our third eye, and it's actually learning a new language because the the spirit realm is different from the 3D realm. The third eye is also a muscle. So let's just say that you, uh, you know, you go to the gym and, you know, it takes time to build that muscle. And I know that it's difficult, you know, um, opening up the, your third eye is not an easy fix. It's not an easy do all because it like Peyton you were saying you know you, you work it's not just the third eye the third eye is your intuitiveness your intuitive knowing your intuitive ability um, it's not we live well we live in this instant gratification world at the moment and so everybody wants to open up their third eye like right now and yes, there are some people who have had that experience, but it's not everybody's experience and everybody's experience is different. So opening your third eye is getting in touch with the intuitive side of yourself. And when you start doing that, you need to figure out what kind of intuition do you have? And if you want to be a, a seer, so to speak, you know, see spirit, you know, that takes time. Yes, all three of us ladies are huge advocates of getting a proper training. Learning how to read energy, um, all your clairs, and it helps you to figure out which which intuitive ability is your strength? So it's like you, like you go to the gym and you, you see a picture of this really buff person or very fit person going into the gym for maybe, you know, one or maybe, you know, four or five sessions. You're not going to look like that very fit or buff person that you want to be. It took them time and consistency to get there. And that's what opening up your third eye is all about. It's a muscle. You build your intuitive muscle. Figure, you figure out what is your intuitive strength. A lot of us don't know that when we first go into it. So I know that this, you know, the instant gratification society that we're in now and there's lots of things that we can get instantly. But opening up your third eye is absolutely amazing. But I highly suggest doing it with training, finding a teacher, finding classes. You know, we, we're, we're all teachers here as well. And if you open up your, your third eye too fast, you won't get the benefits of it. Yes, there are some people that that happens to, but more often not, 
than that. So we love this, this topic and we're gonna be talking more about it. You know, opening up the third eye and what is it? Yaila, what have you got? Yeah, this is a really exciting topic. And I just think of, you know, my journey when I first started. <laughs> I love pain that you were saying, you know, it's not, try not to open your third eye by watching a bunch of YouTube videos. And it, you know, I, we're going to be posting this on YouTube, which I find also kind of funny. But um, <laughs> I just remember looking through um, the Hertz videos on YouTube. It's like, there's some for open your third eye. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going to just listen to that and open my third eye. Or, you know, you hear like all these different ways to do it. So for me, opening your third eye, just like the ladies were saying, it's helping you tap into your intuition, strengthen your intuition, your different clear senses, you know, your clairvoyance, clear seeing, clear audience, clear hearing, clear sentience, clear feeling, clear cognizance, clear knowing. Those are the four main ones that, um, are kind of the primary ones, but there's other clear senses and there's other senses beyond that. Um, so for me, opening your third eye is opening up your sight. And I am going to put sight in quotes, your sight or your awareness of connecting to all these different realms. So for some people, it's actually different dimensions. For some people, they actually get visions. They can see spirits. They can see people who've crossed over. They can communicate with them. Um, they see the inner working of the body system and help people heal on an energetic level. So there's a lot of ways of having an open third eye can connect you to different levels of consciousness is the best way I would think of it. Um, so there's the physical plane, there's the, um, you know, plant plane, there's the, you know, our body, there's the animals, there's, you know, all sorts of, and then there's people who crossed over spirits, guides, you know, Peyton's a channeler. She channels with the Pleiades, you know, they're in a different, um, consciousness. So opening your third eye is being able to see or connect or communicate in these different planes of existence, these different realms and dimensions. So opening your third eye, um, as we strongly encourage is doing it in a safe way, understanding what you are tapping into is what you are actually intending to tap into. Because again, you know, just like here on earth, there's some streets you want to walk down and there's other streets you don't want to walk down alone. Um, that's the best analogy I can give you, you know, sure you can do it. I'm sure you're going to interact with different things, but you know, there's many times you probably want to have a buddy system, if not a group of people around you when you're doing it. Um, so you want to be, uh, aware of there's all different types of energies and what we are connecting with. There's a limit of what we've been brought up is around us. And as you start to open yourself up and, you know, like the ladies were saying, it's not just your sixth chakra. It's not just your third eye. It's your entire chakra system and beyond. So um, when you're opening yourself up to all of these different levels of energy, it's, it's pretty overwhelming. You know, my intro students to the clairvoyant program, I like to describe, um, you know, even working with different colors where, you know, you've probably read meditations where they bring in white, white's a beautiful healing light, but white, if you've ever looked on the color spectrum, there's the two sides of there's the colors that our eyes can see. And then there's beyond where it's just white that our naked eye cannot see energy is very similar, you know, where if you had a fish tank, you know, what's in there for the most part versus if you go in some of the ocean, we're still discovering things to this day that we did not know existed. Energy work is very much like that. When you open up your third eye, you are swimming in the ocean of the infinite. There's new things all the time. And you want to make sure that you can hold your energetic container in your seniority. <clears throat> so opening your third eye sounds great. It's fancy. It's popular. A lot of people want to do it. A lot of people are using different methods to get there or try to get there. Uh, but we highly recommend go at this with a more um, cognizant approach, you know, really understand what are you truly looking to achieve and reach out to those people and trainings. That's truly going to help you achieve what you're really looking for. Um, so that's kind of where we're starting with this three-part series ladies, anything else you want to add as far as what is opening up your third eye? You know, one of the things that I, that comes to me, it's not, you know, a one and done, you know, like you open up your third eye and you're done. And, you know, the world is a different place and it's a process. 
you know, it is a process. It, for me, you know, I mean, I, I was, hey, and I was the same way. I mean, you know, we all, uh, you know, not all of us, but I know for me, you know, this conception of the way that the movies portray it, you know, like, you know, a beam comes to your forehead and it's like, oh, you know, and you've opened up your, your third eye and it's just like, oh, it's really, that's why it's the movies. It's not real. Um, but we have had it portrayed to us like it's this one and done. And it's like going on a, you know, it's like going on a diet, right? So, you know, you starve yourself for 10 days, you've lost 15 pounds, but as soon as you eat, you're going to put that, you're going to put it right back on. And the third eye is, is like that. It needs to be nurtured. And there's so much to learn. So you can either, you know, have a one and done and have an instant and that's it, that's done. Or you can learn so much. There is, I love your analogy, Yaila, of being in the ocean. You know, you can, you know, there's a fish tank and, you know, you know what's in it, but then you can go in the ocean and there's infinite possibilities. You know, the water's not always crystal clear. And opening your third eye is opening up yourself to other realms. And if you have not been trained, um, energetically prepared, physically prepared to really open up that third eye, um, well, you know, I had an experience where just before I really started on my path, you know, taking classes, I was like, ooh, I'm going to meditate in the great American eclipse. And I'm going to open up my third eye. You know, it's just going to be like, ah. well, yeah, my, my third eye opened. But my physical body was not prepared. And I, I wasn't prepared to have my third eye open like that. So what ended up happening was, is that my journey in working with the third eye, my chakras and the energetic, I didn't know anything about the energetic body or, or you know, our energy center, all of our chakras. I didn't know about anything like that. I just wanted to open up my third eye. And what ended up happening was my physical body couldn't handle it. And I spent a year trying to get myself healthy. My body turned acidic. I couldn't eat anything. I didn't have a lot of energy. And I was just starting. I was just, just before I was going to start doing classes. And it made it much more difficult because my body wasn't, you know, I hadn't built up that, those muscles for opening up my third eye. I wouldn't recommend it, <laughs> but hey, some I, sometimes I, you know I learn the hard way. But that was what was portrayed, you know, in, in in YouTube videos or the movies or whatever it is, and it's not like that. There might be few people here and there, yeah, but it's a process, and you get to enjoy it so much more, slow and steady, you know explore it's like a, going on a big adventure you know you don't get to the top overnight but it is magical there's no doubt about it but you have to train for it that's a great way to put it opening up your third eye you need to train for it get your body your emotions physical body spirit body ready for it well, I would say one thing that I would add to it, which you kind of teed up, Corey, is that this is really kind of a holistic approach. And so part of opening up your abilities is also doing your inner work. And so if you're solely focused on trying to get that one chakra open, you miss the rest of the entire process, which is a part of connecting with spirit at the level that we want to, which is our guides and these great multidimensional beings and the angels 
we have to get our vibration up to a level that we can meet those other beings. And that requires us to do our healing work. And that's part of the reason why, as we say, you don't want to just jump into this and try to open just one chakra, that it's part of a holistic process. And so part of opening your abilities is doing your inner work. And that's why the three of us talk so much in these videos about doing your shadow work and your healing and releasing limiting beliefs. All of these videos that we have been talking about these things raise your vibration. And every time you raise your vibration, you have access to a new level of energy. And our goal is always to be as high on that scale as we can to raise our vibration as much as possible, because we can only connect to the level that we're at. So it's the more you want to connect with these higher level beings, angels and guides, we have to do our work so that we're a vibrational match to that. So it's not just a matter also of, you know, opening up one chakra or even all of your chakras, the inner work, the inner healing work, we talk about shadow work all the time is a huge part of the equation as well. So that's also why we always encourage people to, you know, work with a teacher to do this so that you have structure so that you're getting all the pieces of the puzzle and not just one, because chances are, if you're just focused on one, you're not probably going to get the results that you're after because this is a, this is a whole new lifestyle that you're taking on when you start down the spiritual path. And, you know, like Corey said, you can't go to the gym and do 10 sit-ups and expect to look like the model on the poster and energy work, opening up your intuition is no different. Um, you have to build an entire new physical, mental and spiritual body almost. So it is a process and we're going to be talking about all the different ways to do that in our next two videos. So can't wait for that. Yeah. I love, I love what you two ladies are sharing and you know, we've all said it. So it's really a process and it's good to ask yourself, why do you want to open up your third eye? Cause it is accessible to everyone. We all have a third eye. So why do you want to open it? And in the next two videos, we're going to be talking about myths of opening up your third eye as well as how to. So be sure to stay tuned for our ne next two videos. Any last comments before we close up? No. Well, thank you so much for joining us for this part one of the three part series of opening your third eye. Of course, you can reach out to Corey Payne or myself and, um, look at any classes or working with us one-on-one -on -one. and we always have all that information down below and thank you so much if you liked this video if you found it helpful we definitely appreciate your love with likes shares comments saves and we will see you next week for part two <laughs> thank you